Yeah, hi there. These comments are for M.A. and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to pass a TOEFL IBT. And you are also one of my students in the English Language Program at California State University, San Bernardino. You completed an independent speaking practice test number 92. And what I'm going to do right now is to listen to, I'm going to listen to your response and then give you comments as I listen to it and even recommend specific lessons that you can focus on to get better. All right, so let's go to the very beginning. If I remember the question, it says, you know an exciting secret about your best friend? Do you tell others about it or will you keep silent? Explain why you would or would not tell others about your friend's secret. My close friend, you don't want to tell me secrets about her. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. My close friend, you don't want to tell me. Say usually, usually tells me. Me secrets about her personal life. I'll be silent and keep all of her secrets because this will break the confidence. My close friend, you don't want to tell me secrets about her personal life. Usually tells. Uh, you want to make sure you put S on your on your third person singular verb there and even pronounce it as a Z because it comes after a voice consonant. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go to go to the pronunciation lessons in my course and focus on the lessons titled Syllable Division and Grammatical Word Endings. It'll give you more instruction about how to pronounce your S endings at the ends of the words that you speak. And be silent. And be silent. Keep all of her secrets because... Now this doesn't really work out exactly right because you have a statement, then you say be silent. You should probably combine the two ideas and say, my friend usually tells me a lot of secrets about her personal life, so if she does tell me one of these secrets, I would be silent. Right? That's how you would have to frame that if you want to exactly connect it back to the prompt. Now, how do you do that? I used a compound sentence. You can go to the grammar part of my course, study the lesson titled Compound Sentences. Also study the lesson called Complex Sentences because I used a compound and a complex sentence. So let me give you the example one more time of how you might say that. You might say, my friend usually tells me a lot of secrets about her personal life. So, if she does tell me one of these secrets, I will keep silent and not tell anyone about it. Right? That's kind of how you can start your response and you're demonstrating a little bit more complex grammar than what you did. The way that you phrased it, it's showing me that you're limited with your grammar choices, that you don't have a lot of different choices to express your ideas. This will break the confidence, will harm her feelings, and I don't want to be in her situation. Now, you got three ideas. Now, if you illustrate all three of those points, I'm going to give you some good credit on your organization. So let's listen to them one more time. Break the confidence. So it's break confidence. You'll break the confidence with your friend, right? That seems to be one idea that you're going to argue. Will harm her feelings. So will harm, usually we say here, will hurt. Hurt her feelings is probably the better word in that situation. And I don't want to be in her situation. And I do not want to be in her situation. So we have we have three ideas. Now, if you do this, you might say, first of all, I would keep my friend's secret because I don't want to break the confidence that she has in me. The second reason why I would keep this a secret is because I don't want to hurt my friend's feelings. The last reason why I would keep this a secret is is I would not want to be in my friend's shoes, something like that. Friendship is based on the confidence between friends. It is the important part to, to maintain the relationship. If one friend broke it, 
it's gonna be. I would say if one friend breaks it, I would probably use. Uh, to, to be fixed. If one friend broke it, it's gonna be hard to fix. Now, if you say it is, if you want to say if one friend broke it, it would be hard. So if you want to use past tense, you're talking about an impossible present reality. So then I would say this. If my friend broke the confidence, I would blah, blah, blah. So you want to use past tense verbs to talk about present impossible conditions. Be fixed. Now, the first thing, you have exactly followed the first point that you said in your topic statement, so you have a fairly good organization so far. So what you said in the beginning, it's matching what's happening in your actual response. The second reason why I do want to, to keep the secret. Exactly. Now you're even connecting your second point back to the purpose of the task. So again, very good organization on your part. Is that affecting my friend's feelings? Let's go back. I think you're having a grammar issue there. Text. The second reason why I do want to, to keep the secret is that affecting my friend's feelings. Is that it would affect my friend's feelings or it affects my friend's feelings. So you definitely need a verb there, not a present participle. You have to make sure that the sentences that you speak, at the minimum, there's at least one subject and one verb in the sentences that you speak. Revealing her secrets to the others may harm her badly. This can cause a psychological illness like depression. That's good. That's a good example there. Can also makes her this, uh, this can cause a psychological illness like depression. Okay. It can also makes her It can also make not makes. Because when you're using the modal, you have to use the base form of the verb after that. Distrust uh, on, on any other people. In addition, if I told people uh, about my friend's secrets, my friend may tell the others about mine. Because what goes around comes around. Exactly. That's a very good quote there. That shows that you have very good knowledge of the English language and you know how native speakers speak. Spreading uh, friend secrets has uh, negative effect, effects of individuals. Uh, close friends should keep their friends secrets. Okay, this is the most developed response that I've had so far. So very good on your part. Um, Let's take a look at the rubrics now and see how you will score. As I pointed out, you do have a lot of grammar issues and you have a few issues with your delivery and I pointed those things out in your response, but you are developing and you're organizing ideas, I think, well, so you're doing a lot of good things here. So I'm going to put you right now on this particular response. 2.16 out of 4, or 17 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now for the purposes of our class, I'm going to give you a score. Actually, if this were the final exam, you would receive a score of 75% on this assignment mainly because of some delivery and some grammar uh, problems in your response, right? Uh, anyway, thank you very much for uh, completing the response and uh, you're, you're definitely moving in the right direction. So you do need to solve a few problems with your, your grammar and your delivery. And I think I told you to review lessons, pronunciation lessons on syllable division and grammatical word endings. I also told you to review the lessons on compound sentences in the um, uh, grammar section of my course. All right, thank you.